Rene Heath joins me now. Rene, thank you so much for your time. You've gone through a difficult uh, baptism of fire in politics. Have you been found guilty for being a Christian? Hello, and first of all, thank you so much for having me on today. And yes, it's been a, a big couple of days. So it is absolutely obvious, I think, that the attack from 60 Minutes and from The Age is a blatant attack on people of faith and anybody who does not agree with their views. And quite frankly, I've been astounded at what has taken place over the last few days. I am not an extremist. I'm a mainstream Christian. And it's exactly right what you just said. Apparently, this investigation went on for about two months, I've heard, maybe even longer. And they haven't found a thing about me yet still the onslaught and the attack has just been incredible. <laughs> now, let's get it. I actually think the more Christians in politics, the better. You never hear a fuss made of a Muslim politician. It's, that's always celebrated. And on abortion, things like that, many would have the same views as you. You are a Christian, uh, so what, I would say. How does that influence your politics? Are you going to go around and force everyone to go to Sunday school and ban abortion and all that kind of stuff? Definitely not. My Christianity and my faith is deeply personal. It's got nothing to do with anybody else. Um, excuse me. It's got nothing to do with the state. It is deeply personal. And I don't see myself as any different to any other politician who has a worldview which has been shaped by their experience. Now, you've been attacked because of what your father has said uh, and because of what this Malaysian preacher has said in your church. Do you find that fair? Oh, in fact, I find it absurd. And I, I think the further I get away from it, the more I realise, wow, I'm being held to account for a pastor in a Muslim country. Of course, he is going to hold extremely conservative views. I'm being held account to the allegations against my father's church. It's actually unbelievable and it's outrageous. And there is a separation of church and state for a reason. They have completely different jobs. They have completely different roles. And the way I see it is that people are maybe trying to drill down to see what I actually believe, and that is I do not believe in conversion therapy. In fact, the reason I am a Liberal is I believe in the right of every single individual to live life according to their conscience, their values, without influence from the government. And it's interesting what you're saying because that is regardless of sexuality, age, gender, but also faith and religion. Now, I'm not going to get into why your sister is saying this about your family and why now, why she's picked exactly now and all that. that like I say, families are tricky. I'm not even getting involved. The Liberals say the reason they dumped you is because what you told them about your connections to that Muslim, uh, that Malaysian preacher is inconsistent with what the age reported. They say you trained with him for a year as a teenager and later as an adult. Uh, uh, fair enough. And is that something to apologise for? Um, look, to be honest, I haven't even seen that. It's been a, it's been a very busy few days. But um, look, I, I see this as, as, yeah, no, it's definitely not something that I should apologise for. I think people go to church services all the time and and to me it wouldn't even come up as something that needs to be disclosed. Now, what are you going to do about this discrimination, particularly by the Liberals now? I would have thought they'd <laughs> fight for you, but close to the election, uh, tail between the legs ran off. What are you going to do? Are you going to take legal action? Well, actually, it's interesting because, you know, a lot of people, I got so many phone calls during the week, um, well, just yesterday and today, it seems like a week, I've had so many emails where people are sort of comparing it to, you know, the case with Essendon. But the fact is, I think it is different here. Um, the way our party works is our party um, gets, you know, people hear things on the ground and they have to report it to Matthew or um, to the state director or the state president and they have definitely have a responsibility then to, to investigate that and to look it up. And I respect their decision that they said, you know, we're going to put this off until after the election. But the last day 
all of those allegations have fallen to the ground. It has shown that, what am I guilty for? I have not said these things. I have not, you know, though none of these things that are so offensive, apparently, have come from me. So, look, my problem is certainly not with the Liberal Party. I love the Liberal Party. My fight isn't with Matthew Guy. I'm disgusted with 60 Minutes and The Age because they, they are the ones, through their reporting, through their bias, have done this. So I think I do want people to know that my fight isn't with Matthew Guy. No, I'm, I'm fighting with Matthew Guy because we've got to get rid of this Andrews government. Well, I, it's an astonishing story to me. Renna Heath, thank you so much for your time. Keep strong. Really appreciate it.